Okay, so this is the new. Oops. This is the newly launched Motorola Tablet G20 with 8 inch IPS display, 15 hours of battery life, and of course, stock Android experience. But the key highlighting feature is the pricing of this tablet in Flipkart Big Billion Day sale. So the question that has to be asked is, how good is this Motorola tablet and who should consider this? Well, this is Pratik and it's my fourth shoot of the day. Anything for you, let's go. Now, in case you're wondering why there are so many laptops launching these days, well, Number one, there are a lot more tablets to come from Xiaomi, Motorola, so embrace yourself. Number two, people are studying and working from home. So everyone in the family now needs a device of their own. You might have also seen Apple calling out Chromebooks during the iPad launch. So no surprise, there's a need for portable laptops and tablets. Enough said, let's quickly open the box. One interesting thing that I noticed is there are no specs written on the box. That's something you don't see much often. This might be different for the retail units. This is a review sample. So you get a 8 inch tablet. Next you get a 10 watt charger, a USB A to type C port. And there's also a SIM ejector tool. Now the SIM ejector tool is for the memory card. You can only insert memory card in this tablet. There's no SIM card. The in-hand feel of the product looks good. Like this is a metal back, but you have plastic at the top and the bottom for Wi-Fi antennas. You get a Type-C port at the bottom. You get a single speaker at the top and it's Dolby Atmos written at the back. You have a headphone jack. Yeah! On site, you have a volume and power button. Now, there's no fingerprint sensor. You only get face unlock. Here's how it functions. I think fingerprint unlock is more convenient. So if this tablet gets a pro version, Motorola, please add a fingerprint sensor. Now, these are the usual stuff that you get with most tablet. Now let's check out the most interesting feature that you are waiting for, the display. One of the biggest use case of any tablet is mostly media consumption, such as Netflix, YouTube, Prime videos, etc. This eight inch Motorola tablet comes with an IPS display. It's a 1280 by 800 display and the 720p display shows. Now, straight up, the display gets bright if you see in indoor lights. Here are the viewing angles. The color straight up looked a bit bluish to me. I can change that in display color settings. I can set it to a bit warm. I prefer a warmer tone. Now, Motorola says it's a 10 point multi-touch display. So yes, playing BGMI or other games shouldn't be a problem. Now for the audio, here's the audio quality of the single speaker. For a single speaker, it's loud. There's not much bass to it, but the mids are pretty bang on. But yes, it's a single speaker. You can sort of cover it with your hand while watching movies. Now, yes, the processor. It comes with a MediaTek Helio P22T. It's an octa-core processor with four A53 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and four A53 cores clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. So for the processor, I remember the Samsung A7 Lite comes with the same MediaTek P22T and that costs around 13, 14,000. So for the price, the processor I would say is decent. It comes with 3 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 32 GB of storage. Do note that the storage can be expanded via micro SD card up to 2 TB. Now it's all A53 cores here. So basic things like opening apps, watching YouTube, basic multitask works. But since there are no larger cores, don't expect heavy gaming from this. We tried BGMI on this and here's the gameplay. And talking about camera, you get 5 megapixel autofocus on the rear and 2 megapixel fixed focus on the front. And this is the video quality through the front camera because that's what you're gonna be using during video calls. And you be the judge, straight up genuine. Now, the tablet comes with 5100 milliamp hours of battery and Motorola claims that it would give you 15 hours of video playback time. I wouldn't do a full review of this, but to compensate for that and since it's tech wiser, we'll be doing a whole tablet roundup on a budget. Let me know what tablet you want us to include in that video and we'll get that done. Other than these features, you also get bloat-free Android experience, which I think is with every Android tablet as far as I know. Now, there's an entertainment space when you swipe right. It handles all your subscriptions and movie recommendations, plus games and all of that. Like see, I've logged into Prime Video, Netflix and YouTube. You can see the show listings here. I can just tap on the movie and watch it straight up from here. 
And here's a cool thing. I really like the haptic feedback of the Moto Tab G20. Like for the price, it's really good. Here, have a listen. <laughs> boom, boom. So that's about it. That was a really quick thought on the first tablet from Motorola. Now see, let's understand this tablet. It costs around 10,000 only. And I usually don't like to share personal stories, but you are all fam. See, my niece is four year old. She has never been to school or kindergarten. She thinks her laptop is her school and that's how she meets friend. So I might give this tablet to my four year old niece. And with Motorola's ad-free policy across smartphones and tablets, I would be sure that she doesn't get served any unsafe ads. Plus, you also get YouTube kid space and parental control, so that's a win-win. Also, check out our other Amazon sale video on best neckband and best TWS, smartphones, everything, by clicking here. This is Pratik signing off. See you pretty soon.